What up, guys? Kevin here. So, I guess what I love about this channel is I can vent. Stuff can happen to me in real life, and I can come here to vent. That way I don't have to annoy my friends um, or amnesia girl later, which I probably will, maybe twice if she's watching this video. But grocery shopping, I hate doing it. I hate doing it so much. I didn't mind it. We used to have, I think they still do like the grocery Walmarts. You know, these like Walmarts, I don't know if you have them where it's just the grocery store and it's like pretty small. I kind of about the size of like a CVS um, or Walgreens. I love it. They had one right, right across the street from me and they closed it. Man, I miss that place so much. Um, but now I go to the fries across the street from me and it's pretty big, but I know I like the back of my hand, the back of my hand. There's been times where I wore like a polo shirt and people think I work there like, excuse me, Sonny. Um, where is the Velveeta cheese? And I'm like, I don't work here, but I know exactly where it is. Follow me. Um, but today was a super annoying day. Juneteenth weekend. So I guess it's a pretty busy Saturday. I waited till 4, 4 p.m. I feel like things would slow down a little bit at 4 p.m. No. <laughs> people, people getting out and grilling uh, Juneteenth. And I think I was the, I think I was the blackest person there. Um, and I'm just a white boy with a tan. That's just how white this fries is. Um, but I just one of the most annoying experiences ever shopping. Uh, first off, first off, they took the row of parking and they put like a bunch of like stupid placards for, I don't know, employee of the month, pregnant people. I don't know. Just like, what the hell? This is usually where I park. They did that. I had to park on the other side, which was annoying. Um, then as I'm walking up this like kind of elderly couple, and it's a lot of elderly couples here, they like walk right at me and I'm doing the, uh, what are you doing? Are you going to go left? Are you going to go right? And I just bailed right through them, almost knocked over grandma and killed her. But hey, like I was on the right side of my path. They needed to get on the right side. It's street rules no matter what, matter what. And we'll get to street rules here when I get into the grocery store. <laughs> so I'm just going in and the way I do my grocery list is I do Monday through Friday, weekends I pig out um, and just each meal that I'm going to have, each meal I'm going to have, and then I break down the ingredients for each one and then I organize it um, from first to last from like when I first entered the grocery store to the last. That's how organized I am with this shit. I want to get in and out. <laughs> um, let's talk about um, family. I want to call them the, the, the Thompsons. The Thompsons. About three people. I don't know. I don't know if like two are brothers and they got a wife. I don't know. Maybe it's a threesome. I don't know what it is. But then there's this other family and they kept encountering each other. Twice. I counted twice. And it was like, oh my God, Sarah. Oh my God, you guys are here. Oh my God. And they would sit there and talk for like 15 minutes. And they did this twice. At the beginning of my grocery shopping journey today, down one aisle, and then like about 10 aisles over, they saw each other again and gave the same reaction. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell? These guys, this is the most like retarded group I've ever seen. Like you just saw each other and they probably saw each other after, uh, before that first time I saw them. My God. Um, which I mean, that's not really annoying. It's just something interesting, but was annoying is I needed to get around them twice. This happened twice. I needed to get around them. You know, you just go grocery shopping. You just feel like you stalk people. I had that here with this group, these two families who it's, it's like they haven't seen each other in a thousand years when it's been like five minutes. <laughs> like you just saw each other five minutes ago and that reaction, that same reaction. I had to do a double check. Like, hey, that, that's the same family. This is the same two families. Like you would think one of them would be like, hey, uh, let's not make this weird. We just saw each other. Right, we're not that close. Um, <laughs> but I needed to get by them and they're taking up the whole aisle doing their like family reunion during the bacon section. I'm like, and I just, I do the thing. I'm very polite. I'm very polite. I'm very, when I'm grocery shopping, I can, I know my surroundings. I can feel if someone needs to get around me or needs to grab something where I'm at. 
I get the F out of the way. I get the F out of the way. And again, I'm so organized. I walk by something, I grab it, put it in my cart and go. Sometimes I'm not even stopping. This family, I'm just like standing there and like at least two of them look at me and they don't do anything. It's their family reunion. Fuck Kevin. And I'm just like, excuse me. And two of them look at me again, go back to keep talking. Then I'm just like, screw it. I'm just going to barrel them down. And I take my cart, almost knock over the wife. And she just goes, ah. <laughs> and looks by like, oh, uh, excuse us. And I walk by him. That happened again a few aisles later. Just super annoying. Just super annoying. And then I get to steak lady. Steak lady. I'm going to make some steaks. Steaks, steaks and eggs. That's going to be my breakfast for the week. This woman, like the steak aisle or steak section is like her cart. And then the width of her, because she is a big lady. And this woman, I'm very patient. I'm very patient. She is looking at every fucking steak. And I don't know what she's doing. Looking for the marble or I don't know what the fuck. But there is a group. It's not just me. There's probably three other people being patient. Like, all right, lady, grab your stuff. Because she's old, you know. Look, look, old ladies. Even though women live longer, we are very patient for you. We're not going to be like, hey, move, douche. That's what people do to me when I'm grocery shopping. Hey, get the fuck out of the way, weasel. Um, I'm very patient. I'm like, all right, let me um, go grab the coleslaw over there, which I did. And I came back, and she's just sitting there looking at every... G damn steak. And I'm like, all right, I think I see what I want. Let me just go reach over her cart. Usually when you reach over a cart, they go, oh, excuse me. People get out of the way. <laughs> People get out of the way. She didn't. She just looked at me and like, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to be out of here soon. Why don't you just wait? But I did grab it. And I realized I grabbed like the fucking four pack. That was like 30 bucks. I'm like, oh, I don't want this. So I put it back. Then I see, like, oh, yeah, where I need to go is where she's at, where she's waddling over. I'm like, what do I do? Do I reach around her? Am I going to get, like, it's going to be a sexual assault? I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'll go look at the chicken right by, and then I'll kind of peek over and maybe do the grab. Like, ooh, I want that. Um, I tried to, but she was just too big, and her weird boobies were in the way. I'm like, I'm like, she won't move. She just won't move. I'm like, you know what? Let me go grab the salsa, which is a few aisles down, then come back. Did that, came back, and she is still looking at the fucking steaks. Then I'm like, I just had enough of this. So I just like wedged between her and her cart, and I just grabbed it um, and threw it in my cart. I don't even think the steaks look that good. Look like they're going to give me the shits, but I didn't care. She was just sitting there looking at steaks. And the other people, I don't know if they grabbed it or moved on. By the time I got the salsa, it looked like they just had enough. <laughs> um, they were out of there. Got that. And probably, look, couples, man and a woman, very traditional. I'm in a very traditional area. No, no pride flags in my area. Hey, I, I'm for it. I don't care. But, hey. Um a lot of a lot of men and women shopping boyfriend and girlfriend husband and wife and they do this move and this happened at least 3 times when I'm dead and I look back uh when God gives me the videotape it'll probably be like 4 or 5 this is what happens the man is pushing the cart and the woman is needs to grab something and they block the entire aisle. She's looking at one side of the aisle, like on the left, to grab something. And he's just hanging out right next to her, blocking the entire fucking aisle. I can't get by them. And I always have to get by them. And back in my day, the guy would be like, oh, yes, yeah, sh- get out of your way. These guys don't give a fuck. Who are these men? These men are such pussies. Such pussies. Oh, speaking of a pussy move, you're an absolute pussy if you got no autoimmune disorder, disease, or whatever, and you do the the wipe, you wipe the cart down. You're a pussy to me. I'm sorry. 
unless you're like 99 years old and gonna die or you do have an autoimmune disorder like what the the hell you're doing your kid is just got back from the playground playing with uh, Kyle's butthole and is gonna give you a high five and put his fingers in your mouth but oh let me wipe down the cart and usually when they do it they block the they always block the entrance I think I got lucky there today on the way in but on the way out we'll get to that in a minute but these couples they just block the damn aisle and I expect like the woman's this is gonna sound sexist I it's why women's sports don't take off spatial spatial awareness not really a woman thing not really a woman thing sorry I'm sorry I know I'm gonna get canceled for that but I expect the man I expect their dude to be like oh shit let me get out of the way honey get out of the way get the fuck out of my way <laughs> Just a lot of like, excuse me. Most of them they got out of my way, but there was a couple that just looked at me like, "Fuck this, fuck you, dude." I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm dead. Do you ever feel like you're dead, and like just you don't exist? No one can see you. You have no presence. I felt like that today. Um. Then it came to checkout. I'm a self checkout whore. I love the self checkout. I grabbed the one with like all the space, and then this woman that goes next to me after I'm already set I got my little area and I'm like squished in my little area I give enough room for everybody else she goes and grabs my cart and pushes it down (laughs) she like pushes it next to the one like south of me and I'm just like like excuse me um am I in your way she's like oh sorry sorry and I just push my cart back I'm like there's no reason for her to uh, push it but she did I don't know what that was about. That was, uh, I think, I think she wanted to duel. That's like, you want a duel move, right? But whatever. Checked out. Of course, came up to like 140 bucks. I'm like, what the f- did I buy? I need to go find out what I bought. I did buy a lot of stuff, but I'm like, 100 max and ended up being 145. Then as I'm lo- leaving, some douchebag on a cell phone, on a cell phone, you know this guy. I know this guy. Like is driving right now, texting. I hope he uh, flips his uh, car and like the beer bottles just hit him and gets a concussion and he fucking dies. He's just like texting and blocking the entire exit, just blocking the exit. And then he stops to like text with both hands. I'm just standing there again. I feel like I'm dead. I feel like I don't exist. I can't be seen. I have no presence. And I had to say, oh, "Excuse me." At least he was like, "Oh." crap got out of the way I'm like what the fuck are people doing it's really hot out here i think the brain just rots or the sun just rots our brain as you can tell but that was just super fucking annoying so i learned my lesson shopping saturday on juneteenth juneteenth weekend or just saturday in general usually i wait till like the end of the night when the store is about to close and it's not that bad i didn't think it was gonna be that bad but I'm done here. I got Jack in a box. I buy all that food and I go get Jack in a box. That's usually how it works. I gotta go. Thank you for letting me vent. That was just a very frustrating experience. I'm glad it's over. I think that's why I did it. I'm like, it's gonna suck. Let's just get it over with. And it did. I think I'd rather have gone to the dentist. I think my dentist experience a couple weeks back was better than this. All he did was just lay back and just had a girl in my mouth. Who don't want that? All right. I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I'll talk to you later. Later.